Thank you for joining us on GRNN. Today is November 30th and it's a bright and sunny day. I'm Hope and this is my partner Clara. First off, we'll start with our weather. Wait! I think I'm getting something. This just in. Poway, breaking news, Poway, California has a boil water advisory. Did you say that Poway is having a boil water advisory? Yep. Hang on. I'm getting some more information about this de developing situation. Me too. All right. Here's what I got. The city of Poway is making the Poway citizens boil the water for at least one minute. Or you may get free bottled water at Poway Lake or the community center. Yes, the city of Poway states the water had many different colors in it, including pink and brown. It even had particles floating in the water. Now, let's head over to Teen Coverage to talk about how the situation happened and get a better understanding about this. First up, Abby and Gianna, a.k.a. the Sewer Rats. Here's some current info about the Boil Water Advisory. Drinking this discolored water could make your day worse. The Boil Water Advisory has been going on for a week, and the color of the water is brown. The city is concerned about bacteria. Also, since the pipe was open, dirty rainwater got in the pipes, making the water dirty. Just like Gianna said, the water in some houses were discolored. Wait, what is this rope doing here? Isn't that the rope that caused the valve to not shut? More breaking news. The other main reason for the color discoloration in the water is caused by a simple rope. Wait, what? It was just a simple rope? Yep, it confused me too. I hope y'all understand what happened to the water system. Now, now back to the studio with Clara and Hope. Thanks, Abby and Gianna. Yeah, thanks. Now let's go to Kyler and Nate, Team GRES, to see how it affected some students of Garden Road Elementary School. Thanks, Clara. Thanks, Hope. We are live at GRES Garden Road Elementary School. It's December 2nd, 2019. We just returned from Thanksgiving break. We are all well rested. Our tummies are full. But the problem is that Poway just issued a boil water advisory just a couple of days ago. We can't drink water anywhere in the city. Poway, Poway, including Garden Road. Here at Garden Road, our principal and custodians have to take important precautions to ensure the, sa the safety of all students and staff. Here we are at a covered water fountain to showcase this, this school had precautions this school had to take to make sure that all students and staff are safe. This is Team GRES. And back to the studio. Thanks, Kyler and Nate, Team GRES. Now let's hold over to Team Community to see how it affected the community with having to use bottled water. Thank you, Claire, and Hope for that. So far, it's been two weeks, and the whole community can't drink tap water. So far, stores have sold about 100,000 water bottles in Poway. Because of the crisis, nearly 200 restaurants and stores were affected. Businesses such as Panda Express, Domino's, and El Ranchito Taco Shop were forced to close. It's terrible that Poway residents can't go out to eat. But even worse, Poway restaurant employees can't get their paycheck. Businesses are really suffering. Ron Pohl, the owner of Papa Duke's Deli and Grill, estimates he's losing at least $8,000. Some of that money he's losing is due to throwing away food product because of spoilage. One of the businesses that is most affected is Starbucks because of their key ingredient is water. The community is encouraged to eat big and tip big to help power restaurants once we recover from this crisis. Back to Hope and Clara in the studio. Whoa. I had no idea that the most, of, most of the restaurants in Poway were forced to close. That is mind-blowing. I hope this will end soon. I really feel bad for the workers, at, especially at the restaurants, especially since it was right in the middle of holiday season. Me too. But this has been a fun and interesting adventure. I think that will wrap it up. Any last word, Hope? Nope. I think we got it all, Clara. We'd like to thank you guys for tuning to GRNN during this chaotic event. Remember to tune in to Channel 61 at 10 a.m. for your daily news. See you next time!